Hi to all. Now I am going to start the last topic in current electricity that is electric power. This topic already you learned in the tenth class, but I will repeat the topic. Now, what is electric power? What is the definition of electric power? Right? And now the electric power definition is that is the rate of electric work done. The rate of electric work done. The rate of electric work done. is called as electric power okay the rate of electric work done is called as electric power now what is the formula for the electric power okay electric power formula is electric power is equal to electric work by time electric work by time this is the formula for the power any power formula is work by time now we are discussing the electric power that is equal to work by time now what is the work formula right what is the si unit of the power si unit of power is watt okay watt w a t t and its symbol is capital w now <coughs> from here electric work electric work we can write in terms of potential difference what is the formula for the electric work we know potential difference formula is work by charge right then from that work is equal to we write as potential difference into charge this is substitute in above equation then we will get electric power electric power formula p is work by time that is work is potential into charge by t but the potential into charge by time is current then the power formula is voltage into current here because here we are writing the q by t is i that we know already okay and the power one basic formula is the product of voltage and current what is v in this potential difference what is i current now we can express this in terms of oh, by using ohms law you can use v is equal to ir and change the v into ir okay v i we write as you change v as ir ir into i we will get as i square r right i square r now you change here this formula i is v by r i is v by r from this then we will get v by v into v by r that we will get as v square by r these are the various formulas for the power power is equal to v i i square r and v square by r these are the various formulas for the power then how we are writing these formulas these formulas we are writing from basic formula that is v is equal to ir okay by converting here the power formula is vi in this once one time we are changing the v to ir next time i am changing the i to v by r then i am substituting i am getting this formulas here in this if you observe clearly here power in terms of resistance we have p equal to i square r and p equal to v square by r also then when p equal to i square r we will write and when p equal to v square by r we have to write okay for example in series combination of appliances okay in series combination you have to use the formula p is equal to i square r why we have to use p equal to i r i square r because here in series combination current will be constant then when the current is constant then we write as okay in series combination current is constant when current is constant then what relation between the power and resistance right in series current constant if the current constant then we write the power is directly proportional to resistance right that means the appliance which has more resistance it has more power okay right and this is the power power is the rate of electric work done electric work done and in parallel combination what we write the power 
in parallel combination okay we write the formula p is equal to v square by r why because in parallel potential is constant potential difference is constant when potential difference is constant then the power is inversely proportional to resistance right in parallel we have to use this formula we have the power formula okay vi i square r v square by r okay what is v in this potential difference v is potential difference what is r r is the resistance what is i i is the current we are writing the power formulas in terms of voltage and current current and resistance voltage and resistance potential difference is also called as voltage voltage or <coughs> okay potential difference voltage or potential difference or potential difference or voltage now let us see this is about electric power power consumed also we will tell what is the power electric power is equal to work by time but the work is also equal to energy right work is also equal to energy we write this formula as energy by time also right that means here how much work is done for every second to send the charge through the circuit okay that is the electric power supplied okay power consumed how to write how to write the power consumed okay power consumed this one like this we write definition power consumed if you want to give the definition of power consumed okay that is power equal to energy by time power consumed equal to energy consumed by time that means the energy electrical energy consumed electrical energy consumed per second electrical energy consumed per second is called as power consumed in in one second how much electrical energy consumed that is called as electric power are consumed electric power consumed okay power consumed means energy consumed per second okay in every second how much energy consumed we have one fan in our house or one tube in our house on tube it is written okay on electric tube it is written as 40 watt actually on every appliance written power will be there and written voltage will be there okay 40 watt means it will consumes 40 watt here we know already power is equal to work by time right this is equal to energy by time this we can also write it like this that is power unit we write as 1 watt that is equal to work energy unit is work equal to energy energy unit is joule 1 joule by 1 second 1 watt is equal to 1 joule by 1 second that means here we have the 40 watt tube 40 watt tube means what is the meaning of this okay 40 watt tube means this tube can 40 watt equal to 40 joule by second 1 watt equal to 1 joule by second okay 40 watt tube means 40 joules per second that means that tube can consumes 40 joules energy for every second in every one second the tube can consume 40 joules energy right that means if you will if you will use that tube for one hour then how to calculate the energy consumed in one second 40 watt tube can consume 40 joules energy in one second then in one hour how much energy it can consume when you can convert that one hour into seconds then for one second this much energy consumed then one hour means how much how many seconds 3600 seconds how much energy consumed like that we can consume the energy consumed by the tube in one hour or in any time in one day how much energy consumed like that we can calculate right and power is nothing but energy consumed per second or energy supplied per second okay power supplied means power supplied may be different from power consumed okay right and now 
this is the power definition and the power unit the power unit you may write the watt or you may write the joule per second power based on this formula if you if you write the unit then joule by second we can write okay and this is the about the electric power now let us go for the electric energy right how we will write the electrical energy formula okay electrical energy formula from this very simply we will write that is electric power is equal to we have formula electric okay let us see what is the formula for the electrical energy and how to calculate the electrical energy electrical energy consumed by certain appliances then for that we have to do one thing that electrical energy is equal to electrical work we can use the power formula power is equal to work by time from that work is equal to energy that means we can write the power formula as energy by time from this energy formula we write as electrical energy is equal to electrical energy is equal to power into time just it is the from the formula that is we know the formula power is equal to work by time from this work is only energy right energy by time we write from this energy is equal to power into time we write that is electrical energy formula is power into time what is the unit for the electrical energy electrical energy si unit is si unit of electrical energy is power into time watt hour okay watt hour is the si unit sometimes this power can be also expressed in kilowatt hours right kilowatt then other unit we write that is the commercial unit of electrical energy i am going to write the commercial unit of electrical energy what is the commercial unit of electrical energy i will continue now commercial unit in 10th class already you know that is kilowatt hour is the commercial unit of electrical energy kilowatt hour electrical energy formula what power into time from that we can write uh, the unit commercial unit of electrical energy that is kilowatt hour what i am going to write commercial unit of electrical energy what is the commercial unit of electrical energy the commercial unit of electrical energy is kilowatt hour k w h that is kilo watt hour is the commercial unit of electrical energy look at here electrical energy is the power into time power unit we can also write kilowatt into time is hour that means kilowatt hour is a commercial unit of electrical energy but electrical energy energy means we can express in joules also then how do you convert uh, kilowatt hour into joules then 1 kilowatt hour is equal we write 1 uh, kilo into 1 watt into 1 hour we write okay then 1 kilowatt hour is equal to, we write as 1 kilo means 1000 into 1 watt means we write as 1 joule by 1 second from where power is equal we have the formula work by time from that 1 watt is equal we write as 1 joule by 1 second into 1 hour we write as 16 into 60 1 hour is a 60 minutes minutes converted into seconds that is 3600 seconds the second second will cancel then we will get as 1 kilowatt hour is equal to right 3600 into 10 to the power of 3 joule we write this we can also write like this 1 kilowatt hour is equal to 36 into 10 to the power of 5 joule or 1 kilowatt hour is equal to we write as 3.6 into 10 to the power of 6 joule this you have to remember okay 1 kilowatt hour is equal to 3.6 into 10 to the power of 6 joules and now commercial unit of electrical energy is kilowatt hour okay now 
let us see if 1 kilowatt hour energy is consumed then we say that that is equal to 1 unit okay 1 unit is equal to we write as 1 kilowatt hour you should remember okay now electrical energy generally we will consume like this okay for example here if 1 kilowatt hour energy is consumed then we say that we consumed 1 unit monthly how many units you consumed then based on that we can calculate the units right monthly how many kilowatts hour energy you consumed for example if you consumed 10 kilowatt hour for your house then 10 units you consumed then monthly bill you will get per one unit two rupees will be there then 10 units means uh, some 10 into 2 20 rupees bill will be there like some some minimum charge like that they will calculate that if you will consume the 50 units then 50 into for example each unit cost two rupees then monthly bill you will get is 50 into 200 rupees you will be the bill like that here per unit uh, some electrical charge will be there unit for every unit uh, this much electrical energy uh, this much this many rupees you have to pay then based on that you have to calculate the electrical uh, you have to calculate the monthly bill for example you have the uh, many appliances how you will calculate the electrical energy consumed okay electrical energy you have consumed for example you have the uh, bulb okay n1 bulbs you have its power p1 and you are using this bulb for time t1 and some other n2 fans are there and then n2 fan power is p2 and fan every day you are using t2 then what is the total energy consumed energy consumed will become the formula is power into time but one power one bulb power is p1 n bulbs power is n1 into electrical energy formula we can also write like this that is electrical energy is equal to electrical energy is equal to n1 p1 t1 plus n2 p2 t2 and so on we can write okay n1 is the number of appliances and p1 is the time power and t1 is the time by using this electrical energy we can calculate power into time okay right now let us see i am going to continue the next topic before that i will wrap the total board and i will start the next topic Okay, let us see we will continue the topic and here appliances are in series appliances are in series I am going I am connecting the appliances in series okay for example two appliances I am taking this is the first appliance okay this is the first appliance and this is the second appliance first appliances has the rated power or the specified power p1 second appliance p2 and first and second appliances two are operated the same voltage specified voltage is v and specified voltage is v and these two combinedly act as one appliance and its equivalent uh, uh, power is considered as ps the equivalent power in the series combination is considered as ps and the equivalent voltage is v let us see what happens how to calculate this total power in series combination okay then for that what we have to do here this appliance has the resistance R1 let us consider this appliance has the resistance R2 and this is the effective and then its resistance is RS in series combination we know already right what we know in series RS is equal to we know R1 plus R2 okay and R1 is the resistance of first appliance how to find out that right resistance formula we know already V square by P right v square by p resistance of first appliance i want then v square first appliance voltage is v and the power is p1 v square by p1 second appliance is resistance is r2 its formula is v square by p2 it was very simple then effective resistance is rs then 
its resistance we can write as V square same voltage it also operated the same, same voltage but the total power we can consider as in series PS total resistance means total power we have to take then V is common and cancel then we will get as 1 by PS is equal we will get as 1 by P1 plus 1 by P2 that means now in series combination right the effective power will become less than any one individual power that means in series combination less power consumes okay and now in series we know current is in series current constant we can use the power consumed formula okay power formula we can use as i square r okay i square r we write as the power proportional to right resistance that means the appliance which have high resistance the appliance which has high resistance it can consume more power and it will glow more okay right this is about uh, series combination and effective power in series combination let us see what is the effective power in the parallel combination appliances in the parallel right what is the effective power appliances in parallel For example, the two appliances like this, this is the first appliance, on this written the power as P1 and the voltage as V. This is the second appliance, on this the written power as P2 and V is the specified voltage, right? Generally the specified voltage is the same, okay? If you see, you can see the fan and above that some written value is there, 220 volts, 220 to 240 like that and bulb, 200 to 240. And TV 220 to 240 like that. Electric iron 220 to 240. Mostly the range of voltage is same on each appliance, but the power is not same. That means the voltage is same everywhere, right? Generally the voltage is 220 volts. We in our household we are using the voltage AC, AC current, alternating current. In our home, in industries, in everywhere we are using the alternating current. That current voltage is 220 volts. That means the voltage is constant. V, V, V. Right? In parallel combination also voltage is constant. On every appliance there is return value is 220 volts or 100 to 220 volts like that. Okay? And this is combinedly, if these two appliances will act as one appliance like this, its power is the power P suffix P in parallel combination. The rated voltage we can take as V. Right? Okay. Now here, the resistance of the first appliance I am considering as R1, the resistance of the second appliance is R2. Then how we want to find out the total power, right? Then in the parallel combination, what is the effective power, right? Effective power consumption in parallel combination we want. For that, we know one thing in parallel, what you know? What is the formula for the effect resistance? Yes, that is 1 by Rp is equal, its resistance I will take as Rp. These two combinedly act as one appliance and its power is pp and voltage is v and equivalent resistance is rp in we know already formula 1 by rp is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 then r formula we know right resistance of appliance how to find out v square by p p is equal to v square by r r is equal to v square by p then here 1 by r1 1 by r1 i want okay 1 by r1 resistance of the first appliance what is the formula v square by v square by p1 first appliance voltage is v power is p1 v square by p1 1 by resistance of second appliance is voltage v2 v and power is p2 voltage is same everywhere okay v square by p2 then effective resistance is rp then rp formula is v square by pp 1 by v square by pp v right then pp p suffix p by v square right is equal p1 by v square plus p2 by v square we will get then v square is common and cancel then we will get the effective power consumption is p1 plus p2 that means in parallel combination the effective power is equal to sum of individual powers that means just we have to add okay but in parallel one more point we can write uh, that is in parallel voltage is constant right in parallel combination then voltage is constant means then the power we write is v square by r power formula okay power formula v square by r we have to use 
then from this power is inversely proportional to resistance we have to write okay these are the uh, effective cal power calculation in series combination and parallel combination in parallel combination generally in our house all the appliances are connected in the parallel then the total power consumed is equal to sum of individual powers right okay that means the total power will be increases if you will use the more appliances then the more power will consumes because in parallel combination we are adding the appliances but generally we are using in parallel combination that's why we will add all the powers then that means if you will use the more appliances in the house then more power consumes right and you take the screenshot and uh, note every point okay and next uh, let us discuss one more point uh, that is one more topic that is heating effect of electric current okay that is the last topic heating effect of electric current heating effect of electric current okay let us see this is one resistor okay any electric kettle or any resistance if some i current passes through this resistor or heater coil okay or otherwise some heater coil you take this is the some heater coil and some i current passes through the heater coil its resistance is r and i current passes for time t then what is the heat developed across it what is the heat developed across it i want to find out the heat developed then heat produced heat produced across resistor that is heat energy is equal to heat energy is equal to work work okay work is equal to we have the formula power into time work is equal to formula power into time because we already we know power is equal to work by time from this heat energy equal to work energy work are equal work is equal to power into time that means the heat energy various formulas we write heat energy is equal power various formulas we already you know power formula vi we write that means vit we, we will get okay and here in place of v we can write ir i square rt we will get r v square by r into t this is the various formulas we will get for the heat energy from where we are getting these all things power formulas already we have power is equal to vi we have vi you substitute it here vit you will get power equal to i square also r we have p equal to i square r you substitute here i square rt we will get p equal to v square by r you substitute v square by r into t you will get these are the various formulas right and now here also we write uh, in series combination for example <coughs> two appliances are connected in the series this is the first uh, heater coil and this is the second heater coil the two are connected in the series combination okay right and uh, across this heat developed is considered as h1 and across this heat developed is considered as h2 right then in series combination current is constant you have to use the formula that is h is equal to i square rt right h is equal to i square rt current is constant time is constant then we write as a heat proportional to resistance we have to write okay heat proportional to resistance that means we write uh, uh, the the heater coil which has more resistance across that heat developed is more okay and in parallel combination which formula we have to use in parallel combination voltage is constant you have to use the formula heat developed as v square by r into t right in this vt is constant vt constant means we write heat developed is inversely proportional to resistance in parallel combination the appliances which have less resistance right then that will across that more heat develops okay this is the first appliance across this heat developed is h1 and this is the second appliance across this heat developed is h2 its resistance is r1 its resistance is r2 r2 if r1 is less than r2 
if r1 less than r2 then heat developed across first one is greater than second one because r1 less means h1 should be more but here if r1 less than r2 then h1 less than h2 okay and this is about heating effect of electric current and now this already you learned in the 10th class now let us go for one problem and later i will close today topic okay let us go for the last problem the two bulbs are rated 30 watt 200 volts 60 watt 200 volts they are connected with a 400 volt power supply find which bulb will get fused if they are connected in series and parallel firstly we are connecting these two appliances bulbs in series next we are connecting in parallel to a power supply of 400 volts but the required voltage is 200 volts 200 volts but we are supplying the 400 volts and we are connecting these two appliances in series and next parallel which appliance will damage that is our question let us see a uh, very simple uh, when i will explain the solution you understood you will understood see here the first appliance power is 30 watt and the rated power required power and the voltage is 200 and second its resistance you can consider as r1 first bulb resistance second bulb power is 60 watt and the voltage required is 200 volts its resistance i am considering as r2 now resistance of appliance what is the formula to find out that resistance of appliance resistance of appliance here we have the formula resistance of appliance is v square by p right v square by p look at here actually uh, firstly we are connecting in series we are considering okay this is the first bulb and this is the second bulb here we are connecting to a power supply that is the power supply is 400 volts here the re required voltage for this first one is 200 volts and second one is 200 volts but we are supplying to 400 volts okay now for example we are supplying this is ac source let us take ac source we are connecting the 400 volts when we connect like this to a 400 volt source at that moment this voltage will divide okay this is for example v here some part of voltage will be there v1 and here some part of voltage will be there v2 then what is the voltage ratio okay that will depends upon the resistance ratio the resistance of the first appliance we will take as R1, the resistance of the second appliance is R2. The rated voltage is same, but the applied voltage will be divided set here. Okay, applied voltage I will take as V1 dash and V2 dash. Okay, applied voltage is V that is divides across first bulb and second bulb. We write V is equal to V1 dash plus V2 dash. Right? Remember that the rated powers and the the required voltage is 200 and 200 right but we are applying the 400 voltage this 400 voltage divides across the two bulbs but equally it will not divide because if they have the equal resistances then equally divides 200 200 but it they are not have the equal resistances because they have not have the equal power resistance of appliance formula is v square by p uh, then here two or the rated power is same vs and ps okay but the specified voltage for both of them is same vs constant okay vs constant means we write uh, resistance is inversely proportional to specified power then we write the resistance ratio as r1 by r2 is equal to p2 by p1 p2 is 60 by 30 we will get as 2 by 1 okay resistance ratio we got and uh, in the series combination according to ohm's law in series what is constant i is constant in series i is constant means the voltage v is equal to ir formula we have then v proportional to r we will get okay and here we write the v1 voltage v1 by v2 is equal to r1 by r2 okay the voltage across applied voltage across uh, first appliance is v1 dash and the second appliance is v2 dash v1 dash by v2 dash equal to r1 by r2 then r1 by r2 value is how much 2 by 1 here we write 2 by 1 okay and now here we have the formula that from this we will get v1 dash is equal to 2 v2 dash this we substitute here we have the v is equal to v1 dash plus v2 dash then v is total voltage 400 volts the voltage across 
first appliance is v1 dash v1 dash will attach to v2 v2 dash plus v2 then we will get as 400 is equal to 3 v2 dash we will get right then from this v2 dash we will get as 400 by 3 volts right that means it is less than 400 by 3 is less than the voltage required voltage across second appliance v2 dash is 400 by 3 that means nearly uh, 3 v2 dash we will get as 3 1 ja 3 remaining is uh, 10 3 3 ja we write okay and next uh, remaining is again 10 okay 133 volts nearly we write but here the applied voltage is here 133 but here the required voltage is 200 then this second up, second bulb will not damage what about the v1 dash okay here we have uh, v is equal to but we know but v is equal to v1 dash plus v2 dash here v is 400 is equal to v1 dash we don't know but v2 dash we know 400 by 3 from this we will get v1 dash okay if you find out the v1 dash at here we will get like this that is v1 dash is equal to 400 by 3 minus 400 right no 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 v1 dash what you will get here this we will take to left side then 400 minus 400 by 3 we will get then v1 dash we will get is 1200 minus 400 800 by 3 that means this is nearly 3 2 ja 6 then remaining is 20 3 6 ja 18 then 3 6 ja 18 nearly 266 point something you will get right that means now v1 dash is 266 volts here v1 dash is greater than the required voltage here the v1 dash is 266 voltage okay this is 133 here the applied voltage is 266 required is 200 for the first bulb applied voltage for the second bulb is 133 volt that means this 400 divided is 266.66 plus 133.33 okay 266.66 plus 133.33 if you will add you will get the 400 here applied is 266 but the required is 200 that means applied voltage is greater than v1 dash is greater than v then first bulb will damage first bulb will fuse okay what about in parallel in parallel what happens okay right in parallel i will tell here okay only in one line we can combine in parallel combination in parallel voltage is constant that means applied voltage is how much here 400 volts we are applying it here the applied voltage is 400 volts this is applied applied voltage applied voltage is 400 volts that means 400 volts is constant in the parallel combination for the first bulb 400 only second bulb 400 only that means first bulb v greater than v1 then two bulbs will be fuses two bulbs will fuse in the parallel combination two bulbs will damage why why because in parallel combination how much applied voltage we are applying it here for example this is the first bulb and this is the second bulb like this we are connecting to 400 volts at that moment the voltage across here required voltage is 200 volts but the applied is 400 between these two points 400 will be there applied voltage here also 400 volts here also 400 volts but the required volt for the both of them is 200 200 only that's when the both bulbs will be damaged okay in series combination applied voltage 400 volts divides across the two bulbs but in parallel combination voltage is constant that means 400 volts you are supplying means the same 400 volts is given for the first bulb and also given to the second bulb that's when the 400 voltage is more much more than the the required voltage the required voltage for the first bulb and second bulb is only 200 but in the parallel combination we are supplying the 400 volts means 400 volts will be developed across the first and second bulb that's where both bulbs will be damaged right okay and this is my solution 
and uh, interesting problem this one and uh, look at here and if you not understood you can ask me and this is the homework problem I am telling that there are two bulbs are there marked 220 volts 100 volts and 220 volts 50 volts again the same voltage but the power is different our question is that which bulb will produce more illumination here there are two bulbs are there one is power 100 watt and other power is 50 watt both are operated the same voltage 220 volts then if that two bulbs are connected in the parallel to a 220 volt supply then which bulb will more illumination means which bulb brightness will be more whether the first one or second one right and the next 100 watt bulb or second watt bulb its answer may be 100 watt bulb or 250 watt bulb which bulb will illuminate more means more brightness okay across which bulb more heat develops then it can produce more brightness more illumination if the same bulbs are connected in the series combination to 220 volts then which bulb will more illuminate right 50 watt bulb or 100 watt bulb firstly we are connecting the bulbs in parallel and secondly we are connecting the bulbs in series then in the parallel and series out of two bulbs which bulb will illuminate more then the next one is also find the total power consumed by both bulbs in the in each of the two parts above in series combination what is the total power consumed in the parallel combination also total power consumed is what this is our question okay thank you for listening my classes subscribe my channel share to your friends till now if you not subscribe then you can subscribe and press the bell icon also if you will press the bell icon you will get the notification whenever i will upload the new video at the moment immediately you will get message then by that you can follow my lectures continuously thank you for watching my lectures press the like button and press the bell icon button subscribe my channel share to your friends thank you